I, I know it's kind of a bittersweet feeling because you know what you've accomplished here, the run you've had, and knowing that it's coming to an end. What has that been like for you, and particularly these final 24 hours or so? Uh, they've been okay, honestly. It's it's a lot, probably a lot better that we're playing pretty good ball, and we're playing some teams that that are, you know have playoff implications. Going to Milwaukee, we were in New York before that, uh, and our guys are playing hard. That's why you know I think one thing as a manager, uh, you always want your teams to play hard. Right. If your team's not playing hard, they should get rid of me a lot earlier if they weren't playing hard. Um, so I, I think it's just important to just enjoy it, right? And I've got, got a chance to be able to just see a lot of folks that I've dealt with here for a number of years, and it's, it's been good. For you, when you look, I mean, you've been, it's funny when you look at your history here, man, it's been, it's been a long time. And when you look at the history of this franchise, managers don't usually last that long. So you think of the run that you've had. How much pride do you take in that? I know that you didn't accomplish the ultimate goal you wanted, but just the good, the bad, the ugly, you've been through it all the last, you know, seven, eight years plus. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, you feel good about, obviously, longevity. One of the things you wanted to do here when I when I came here was really to create stability. I, you know, coming from L.A., I, I made a choice to, to leave there, get closer to my family, uh, but also know coming here that was going to be a chance to, like, you know, be a part of something that's going to grow and something that could be sustainable. Uh, that's the disappointing part, right? And I knew I've been through some like some changes, ownership changes, and then leadership changes even this year. Um, and so it's been a little frustrating that I haven't been able to kind of accomplish what I wanted to accomplish here, you know, and leave this place in a good spot, feeling like they were contending every year. I do think we're in a lot better spot than it may look like with our record. I think the pitching's really good, and you can win with that. Uh, if we can find ways to kind of develop some players and, and get our guys to perform, uh, I think we're going to be in a lot better spot than people think. There's no magic button, obviously, but you've been here long enough and you understand the, the history of this town and baseball. So when you look at that, obviously bats will help and getting more offense, but just from a fan support, excitement, getting the town behind you, what is it going to take, Don? I mean, I, I guess I, I don't know that answer because we haven't been able to do it. I mean, everybody says if you, you know, win – and, and sustain winning where you're winning you know one year two years three years four years i think that's something that could help build this fan base i think the new ownership honestly has did a pretty good job with reaching out in a grassroots way to the community i see a lot more kids at games i see a lot more people in town with like marlins hats and i think the awareness and what they do in the community seems to be top notch i mean all the things that i watch when i go back home in the winter and I'm seeing the food giveaways and all the things that happen here at Marlins Park. Because you know this area that you're in sometimes is probably not as, uh, it's probably a little more underserved than other areas, right? So there's more help that's needed. And I feel like we did a good job with that. And hopefully we're building that grassroots uh, fan where those kids grow up and they want to be at Marlin games. And I think it would obviously help if we were able to put, you know, some you know really good winning teams on the field where you feel like, hey, we're as good as everybody else. And finally, what's next for you? You think big picture, you're going back home, you're spending some time with family, but you've been doing this, you've been around ba professional baseball since you were a teenager, you know, and, and now all of a sudden it, you, you've got that next opportunity. What do you think that may be, and how do you kind of envision that? Uh, I don't know. You know, you think about a lot of things, and people always go, well, what are you going to do? And I'm like, I don't know you're if too I... too young to retire, yeah. right? Well, I feel great. That's the one thing. At 61, I feel great. My mind feels good. My body's still good. You know, I'm moving good, so I feel good about all that. Uh, I just don't think you need to force things, right? And I think that's the biggest thing. You you want to be – I love the game, and I want to be involved with it. I think hitting is as probably as big a passion as anything. Like watching hitters over the past 10 years has been frustrating. I feel like we've taken the game backwards a little bit. I don't know if that's the advancement of the pitching so much. or And, and I think a little combination. The pitching has gotten better, and then we went to this launch angle – where guys can't put the ball in play, a lot more strikeouts. And it's tough. It's tougher game to watch, right? And you say hitters, you know, there's a way to combat what's going on with the pitching. And I don't think we've did a very good job of combating that.